Hey guys, it's your favorite city girl, B. Foreign. Period. And today, obviously by the title, I will be recording an in-depth eyebrow tutorial. Cause your girl been slaying. I don't come to play, okay? I come. I will be using my pro concealer. Concealer. Hello. My thick brow. And then I have my dual brush with the spoolie on one side and the angled thingy majiggy on the other side. And then I lost my other angled brush for my concealer, but I had another one with a spoolie on it, so same difference. So let's just get into the video. Actually, funny story is I learned how to do my eyebrows like for real, for real, maybe like a year ago. And um, my sister taught me actually, shout out to you, Melissa, because without her, um, I would have definitely not known how to do my eyebrows. And like every time I used to do them, she used to rate me one to 10 and then just got better and better. But anyways, so first thing we're gonna do is brush out the hairs with the spoolie. And some people go like up and all this extra stuff, but I don't. I'm gonna just do this brow first. Okay. And then what I learned was to start with the tail of the brow. Start with the tail, one and then start at the base of your brow. So start outlining the bottom from the back, because the back is the darkest, and then you shade to the front. And all I'm literally doing is following my natural um, eyebrow shape. Obviously for everybody it's not this simple, but for the most part, that's all you need to do. And then I slowly focus Stop! Through. Stop! Okay. Stop! I slowly move it up into the front. Okay, and then I really don't really do you start it? And when you, I find that when you start like that, you do all the work in like one step and then you just take your spoolie, lightly brush it out. period and mind you this is for a natural brow which I think are the best because all them extra all of that sis so after I do that which is this is actually pretty good after that Take my concealer. This is really dirty. Take my other brush that has my spoolie. Not my spoolie. My other angled um, tip thing. I take a little bit. A little bit. Okay? Okay. Take a little bit on the brush. Focus. Okay. And again, I start with the tail. And I just learn outline if it's not even I make it so I'm trying to not act like a pro right now Ooh, okay and that's just 
try to get it as straight as possible. Take all that access. And you have to be very light handed because you F it up. Okay. So after this, you pretty much got your shape down. You go into the top. Now again, in my opinion, it's easier if you start with the back. Do the same to the bottom, to the top. Oh, uh, okay, we're gonna fix that because baby girl, it's not a hot city girl summer that way. We can't slay and you know, find a good niggas if our eyebrows is not done. Okay, okay then, oh, I almost took the whole thing off. Okay. So then we're gonna go back in with the main brush to fill back in that spot that I took the top off the main deck. And I also like to darken back up the um, perimeter, being that I lightened it up so much. Okay, then once you get to the front, once you get to the front, it's just a light shade. Don't heavy hand it at all, or you're gonna end up looking like who did it, came back, ran, fucked it up, went back, came back, beat it up again. Okay, and I'm a perfectionist. It's an Aries thing, shout out to the Aries. So I cannot, if my eyebrows are not perfect, oh, shout out to my nail tag. My nails are kind of messed up right now, but ooh, I like that arch. Maybe a little too much. Okay. Okay, and my favorite part is the after the chicka 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 chicka. And you should always do this after you finish your brows. If you don't, they will look chopped. So this is my finished brow and I'm gonna do the other one and then I'm gonna match them up and I'm gonna show you what's going on. really where the magic happens and don't forget it's very important to know your eyebrow color or at least because some people what they do like if they have red hair for the month they do red brows that makes sense it's supposed your brows should match your hair color or it should be one shade lighter than your natural hair color that is the only way they will look nice Starting with that tail again. Oh, this one is gonna be much, 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 much prettier on the first try. Okay. Then I just take that excess one. And me, I am not a fan of the um, unibrow. So like, I take my finger and I like, you know, you know, do what I gotta do. Take your spoolie. Okay. And that's on purpose. And it's that easy. And then once you've done the basic two steps it's so much easier to go back and like be like oh i don't like this because everybody likes their eyebrows different i don't know why i'm not judging
Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to show you how everything is supposed to come together.